kabutihan ni Lord na ginawa niya sa buhay mo. Okay? Pwede ba tayong pumunta doon sa hindi ano, hindi natin uh, hindi familiar sa atin, yung iba naman, okay? Can we go to someone uh, and, it, and and begin to share the goodness of the Lord na ginawa niya sa buhay natin for the past days? And two to three minutes, okay? Timer starts now. Praise one, two. Tapos na mag-set tayo yung isa. Tapos bigyan natin mag-set tayo yung part na yung laman natin. Hallelujah. Praise God. Sino dito na blessed doon sa shiner ng kapartay niyo? Amen. Uh, actually, meron pa kang hindi pa tapos eh. Talagang hindi natin mapipigilan yung kabutihan ng Diyos sa buhay ng bawat isa. Amen. And can we go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning in verse 11? Sabi dito, pwede ba natin basahin? One, two, three. 
He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men. Yet they cannot fathom what God has done from the beginning to end. Okay, next. I know that there is nothing better for men than to be happy and do good while they live. Next. That everyone may eat and drink and find satisfaction in his, all his toys. This is the gift of God. Amen. Verse 14. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that men will revere Him. Hallelujah. Can we read in Amplified Version in verse 11? Kung babasahin natin no, that He has made everything beautiful in its time. Sino dito yung dulo nung testimony niya? Alam nyo, yung buti na lang dumating yung provision ni Lord. Buti na lang dumating yung 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 control ni Lord. Alam niyo 'yon? Sino dito narinig ito dun sa kapartner niya? Yung intervention ni Lord dun sa situation na kinukuwento niyo. May sakit that the Lord provided healing. May pagkukulang din the Lord prov- yung provision ni Lord dumating. And sabi dito, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Hallelujah. He has also He also pla- he also has planted eternity in men's heart and minds a, di- a divine divinely implanted sense of purpose working through the ages with nothing under the sun but God alone can satisfy. Hallelujah. Ibig sabihin, merong binigay si Lord. Meron siyang sinet sa puso ng bawat isa. Amen. Sabi doon, he has set eternity, sabi sa iba sa he has set eternity in our hearts. Amen. And, and the God that we are serving is the same God. Na na binabasa natin kung anong ginawa niya nung time ng Old Testament, nung time nila Jacob, nung time nila David. It is the same God that we are serving today. And the same God If you will look back kung ano yung ginawa niya, kung ano yung mga landmarks na ginawa niya sa buhay natin, if you will look back, this is the same God that we are serving today. This is the same God who holds your present condition today. And sabi doon, He made everything, made, tapos na, beautiful in its time. Amen. Maybe hindi mo maintindihan yung sitwasyon mo ngayon, but if you will fix our eyes to Jesus. Siya ay may hawak nung dulo. He is the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. At sabi dito sa verse 14, I know that whatever God does, it endures forever. Nothing can be added to it nor anything taken from it. And God does it so that men will reverently fear Him, revere and worship Him, knowing that He is God. Amen. In every situation that we are encountering right now, it all points to Him. Amen. Masasami mo ba yung sitwasyon mo ngayon? Lord, this, it, this situation na nararanasan namin ngayon, it is to glorify You. Maganda man yan or, or hindi maganda. Nakikita ba natin na Lord, this is an opportunity for you to be glorified in my situation. Amen. And kung ganito natin titingnan, hallelujah, who can be against us? What can separate you from the love of God? Kung ganito natin titingnan yung every situation, kung ano yung pinagdadaanan natin ngayon? Hallelujah. Tingnan mo nga yung itsura ng katabi mo ngayon. Kita ba? Hallelujah. Kita ba yung saya? Kita ba yung joy? It, sabi doon, He has made everything beautiful. Amen. So yung dulo nito, hindi pangit. Yung dulo niyan, yung, yung pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, yung dulo niyan, hindi pangit. Pakisabi, pakisabi sa katabi mo, pakiremind. Because we are serving a faithful God. 
Amen. And today, we will enter into worship and we will thank the Lord. Sabi, sabi doon, we'll enter His gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. For the Lord is good. Ano man yung pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, can we just start to remember the goodness of the Lord in our lives? Can we start to declare in thanksgiving? I, I invite everyone to stand on their feet right now. And let's begin to utter a thanksgiving, a praise, a worship unto Him that He alone deserves. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's start to pray in the Spirit right now. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, O oh God. We honor you in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, kababa sandi ararabasu. Ebriande rabasu kororoboshani. Oh, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's begin. Let's begin to open our mouth right now. Let's let's begin to flow. Out of you shall flow rivers of living water. Let's start to utter thanksgiving to the Lord for all that He has done. Hallelujah. Rebre babak handa rababasu. Oh. the goodness of God is here again and the loves you Lord and your mercy never fails me and all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake the goodness of God. Oh, my Lord. And oh, my Lord, you have been faithful. And oh, my Lord, you have been so, so the goodness of God for my life and for my life you have been faithful yeah. and for my life you have been so so
The last time we sing, and I will sing of the goodness of God, and I will sing of the goodness of God. And right now, can we just go to someone and let's extend a prayer of encouragement? Let's just begin to flow. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord, the comfort of the Lord to our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Your kindness and your goodness, Lord, leads us unto you, O Lord.
let's continue to stand in the presence of the Lord for those who are done praying. Hallelujah. Stay in yourself in the presence of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Oh, we praise you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, let the Holy Spirit, the governor, the kingdom, continue to be in this place, to lock your presence in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Remember your goodness, O oh God, for this morning. Truly, you are good and you will never change. Hindi ka nagbabago noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman, O oh God. Hallelujah. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Welcome His presence in this place. Oh, we can sense that the Lord is here. Oh, we welcome you with our worship, Lord. Sinasamba ka nam, pinupuri ka nam, sa Espiritu at katotohan. Oh, we praise you, God. goodness abounds every day your goodness abounds each time oh god that erases every weariness so oh lord
have been so good in every family, in the church of worship. of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Kanina, nung inuulit-ulit natin yung And I will sing of the goodness of God. Nandun ako sa reflection ng goodness talaga ng Panginoon. Say yung ba sa inyo nanginginig ako? Hallelujah. This week, I believe hindi lahat sa atin malakas. Maraming beses nangihina tayo. But by His goodness, nandiyan ka. Katabi mo ngayon, yung katabi mo ngayon. Hallelujah. Seeing your faces, it is already an encouragement and an evidence ng kabutihan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. Bakit? Pwede naman tayo hindi na magising kanina. Sino dito pagkagising? Thank you, Lord, agad. Hallelujah. It's been parang uh, napag-aralan na natin siya before na kapag gumigising tayo, we do toda. Na pa, pag nandito ka na sa church, hindi ka pa dito magsisimula na, Lord, thank you, nagising ako kanina. No. Pero it is a celebration. Hindi lang sa akin, hindi lang sa mga sasayaw dito, hindi lang sa mga tutugtog, but sa ating lahat na narito. It is a celebration and, and this is the Lord that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Can we give a mighty clap offering to the Lord? Oh, Holy Spirit, be in this place. Thank you, Jesus. And as we praise you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sa pagsamba, merong kalakasan. Sa pagsamba, merong kasagutan. Sa pagsamba, sa pagpupuri, merong kagalingan. Amen. So while you are praising the Lord, i-claim mo yung dapat para sa'yo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's praise the Lord and let's welcome Him in this place. Hallelujah.
the Lord on the way na to, to eternity. Nako, kung, kung di mo makasama yung katabi mo sa eternity, nako na lang. Sabi mo, nako na lang. Hallelujah! So, this is a practice. Kasi doon din tayo papunta. ba? Diba? Eternity in praising and worshiping the Lord. Kahit minsan, hindi <clears throat> na nakikisama yung boses natin, ba? Diba? Pero nakatingin ng Panginoon sa puso ng bawat isa. Amen! Hallelujah! And as we sing this song, Continue to remind yourself that, Lord, dito kami papunta to eternity. To eternity na to, Lord. Forever na to, Lord. Hallelujah. So let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise you, God.
of eternity in this place. Hallelujah. Parang hindi naman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we sing this next praise, ang lyrics nito, when you speak, the mountains move. Meron ba kayong mga bundok ngayon sa buhay nyo? Hallelujah. I just speak the name of Jesus and it will move by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Sinabi doon, when you, ano yun? Um, yung second chorus meron dyan, um, when, you, when you move, the seasons change. Nasa buhay ka ba ngayon na parang, Lord, pinakamababa tong parte ng buhay ko ngayon. But when God move, it will change. Hallelujah. And we will, we will make this song as a prophecy sa bawat isa sa atin. Don't take this lightly. Hukakanta lang tayo dyan. But we will sing this with faith. Amen. Hallelujah. You want freedom? Yan yung sagot. You praise the Lord. You want answer? You praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's worship God.
God, let your children be sensitive enough, Lord God, to the move of the Holy Spirit this morning. And as we enter into worship, God, we continue, Lord, to remind ourselves kung ano yung ginawa mo sa cross, Panginoon. And this is the victory that we are enjoying right now. Pinalaya mo ang bawat isa dahil tumulo ang iyong dugo sa cross ng Kalbaryo, Panginoon. We are not, oh God, to live a life full of weariness, God, full of fear. But we are to live a life full of victory, God, full of confidence, Panginoon, na marunong ang bawat isa sa amin na lumaban sa panalangin, oh God. And right this very moment, Father, we continue to place ourselves in that position that you've called us to be, oh God. Oh, we are standing in that yes. position, oh God. We are standing right now to that authority, Panginoon, na binigay mo sa bawat isa. And it is to be victorious, oh God. Kami ay nanalo na nung nanalo ka sa cross ng Kalbaryo. Lord, we rebuke every torture from the enemy, oh God. We rebuke, oh God, every suffocation in the spirit, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, lahat ng uri ng depresyon, Panginoon, lahat ng uri ng anxiety, ng doubt, ng discouragement, and every form of sickness will bow down in the name of Jesus, O oh God. And right now, we claim this, Panginoon, as we prophesy and sing this song. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's pray in the Spirit. Oh, come on, open, open your spirit. all around my delight is found to know that you were the victor's crown you're my help and my defend you're my savior and my friend by your grace I live and breathe to worship you at the mention of your grace in your name I will bow down In your presence fear is silent For you were the victor's crown Let your glory fill the sound Let your power overflow By your grace I live and breathe to worship you Hallelujah the found you can never be defeated for you were the victor's crown you are jesus the messiah you're the hope of all the world by your grace i live and breathe to worship you
Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your presence, O oh God. Lord, continue to empower us by your word, Panginoon. Let your word, oh, let the entrance of your word, Panginoon, be powerful and mighty enough, Lord, to change us, O oh God, from glory to glory, O oh God. Lord, continue to fill our hearts, O oh God. Fill every spirit, fill every soul in this place, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we continue to bring to you all the glory and honor that you deserve alone. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody shout, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And before we sit down, can we just go and welcome one another in the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah.
Amen. Are we settled? Hallelujah. Okay. So, lahat ang handa na po ba? Sige. Um, upo na po tayo dito sa mga bakanting upuan po sa mga nasa dulo po. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Praise God. Palakpakan muli natin ang Panginoon. Kami nga, I am blessed. No? Kasi habang nandun kami sa dulo, sabi ko ba, unti-unting ano, dumarating ang aming mga kapatiran. Hallelujah. Sabi nga, every time we see each other, nakaka-encourage. Diba? Nakaka-encourage kasi... Ang tanong, na-encourage ka ba sa katabi mo? <laughs> Nakaka-encourage kasi alam mo yun, kahit ano yung condition mo, ano yung sitwasyon mo, pinipili mo pa rin na pumunta dito every Sunday, magpuri sa Panginoon, magpasalamat sa Panginoon, amen, na dapat lang at He deserved na talagang bigyan mo siya ng priority, bigyan mo siya ng oras mo. Amen? Hallelujah. Because sabi nga kanina sa kanta, God is good. The goodness of God. Amen. And God deserve praises, highest praises, highest worship. Yung pa, pa, totoo, genuine na pasasalamat. Amen. Kasi sa bawat pag-awit mo, ito ay nakikita ng Panginoon sa puso mo. And I am, and we are all encouraged kasi nandito kayong lahat. So, Or, uh, uh, ano na ba? Handa na ba ang ating mga puso sa pakinig ng salita ng Panginoon? Hallelujah. Let's pray. Yes, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this morning, Panginoon. It's a honor, Panginoon, na kami nandito muli, nagkasama-sama ng aking mga kapatid upang kami palakasin mo pa rin, Panginoon. Everything that we do, Lord, kami pa rin yung nagbe-benefit, Panginoon. And thank you, Jesus. Dahil, Lord, this morning, ito'y para pa rin sa'yo, Panginoon. And give us the word, O God. And let, O God, the heart of your people be open, O Lord God. Ikaw ang patuloy na mangusap po sa kanila, Panginoon. Hindi sa aming kalakasan o kalakasan ko, Panginoon, O Lord. Bagkos ito'y sa banal na espirito na mangungusap po sa kanila, Lord. That we are victorious indeed, Panginoon. And that we are one. In Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We glorify you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin muli si Lord. Alam mo yung bang isang Diyos na talaga, nandun nga siya, nakaupo na siya sa trono niya, iniantay na lang tayo. No? So, kumbaga, andyan, no? ang Panginoon, handa na rin sa atin para ibuhos yung bawat kalakasan na kailangan natin. Amen. Hallelujah. And this morning, as we continue, sabi nga po, um, let us not neglect no, the gathering of the saints. Tayo. Kasi we need to strengthen one another and we need to encourage one another. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, nakakalakas kapag nakikita namin kayo. Nakakalakas, personally, kapag nakikita ka namin, nagpapatuloy. Ano man yung sitwasyon mo sa buhay mo. Amen. At sabi nga ko, ano daw yung... Nakakalakas sa isang pastor natin is yung nakikita ka talagang nagpapatuloy. Amen? Sa mga leaders na yan. So this morning, as we continue yung sinasabi na ang topic is um, growing as a fellow citizens in the kingdom of God. So lahat tayo lumalago as a fellow citizens in the kingdom of God. Amen? We are team. Tama? We are family in worship the king, no? So ang title ko ngayon is Teamwork in the Body of Christ. Amen. Teamwork to. Family tayo dito, 'di ba? So ikaw ay member ng Worship the King Church. No, hindi lang to yung parang dati tayong Catholic, simbawi lang. Pagkatapos ng service, wala na, alis na tayo. Nothing's changed. No relationship na na-build, no? But we as a Christian, ang binibuild natin talaga, una sa Panginoon, is our relationship with Him and next to our brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen? So we are team here in Worship the King. We are family. And as a teamwork, sabi nga, a teamwork, it is a a team na merong um, trabaho that they are working together in a common goal. 
Ano ba yung goal natin dito as a worship the king? Ano ba yung vision natin na lagi natin tong naririnig? Hallelujah. Sabi, we are a family, church, breakthrough believers to train up, to train up believers to be, ano, to, to become a breakthrough believers to impact society. Yun yung goal natin. ba? Diba? Yun yung nais ng worship the king. Yun yung vision na magkaroon tayo, matrain tayo as a breakthrough believer to impact society. The question is, kung ikaw part ng worship the king or ikaw ay parte ng katawan ng Panginoon, nag impact ka na ba? Hallelujah. Ayan. So, are we, are we impacting? <laughs> nag impact ba tayo o nagbibigay ba tayo ng liwanag? No? Nakakapagbahagi ba tayo no, ng salita? ng Panginoon. Because from the word team, work, no, meron tayong tinatawag na trabaho. Hallelujah. Amen. Hindi lang to trabaho ni pastor para palakasin lang tayo, pakainin tayo ng pakainin every Sunday. no. Hindi lang to trabaho ng mga leaders para magplano lang ng magplano at magpuyat every night, every Sunday, every meeting nila para lang sa mga activity. But they wanted to have a result. They wanted to have na merong bunga na nangyayari sa atin, sa buhay natin. Amen? Next, please. So this night, this night, <laughs> this morning, gabi na agad, oh, bilis ng oras. <laughs> so this morning, ang um, share kong text is about Exodus chapter 17. Ito yung kay Moses. So let's read. Sabi dito, Now Amalek came and fought with Israel in Rephidim, And Moses said to Joshua, Choose us some men and go out fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek and Moses. Aaron and Har went up to the top of the hill. Next. And so it was when Moses held up his hand. that Israel prevailed, and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy. So they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it, and Aaron and Hor supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. So team to. Next. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for the memorial of the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven and Moses built an altar and called its name The Lord is my banner. For, the, said, for he said, because the Lord has sworn, the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Okay? So makikita natin from story, no, na si, merong um, battle na mangyayari dito between Amalekites and the Israelites. At si Moses, we believe na tinawag siya ng Panginoon to become a leader ng Israelites. Tama? I believe na alam naman na natin ang story ni Moses. No? Mula nung pagka-baby pa lang siya, napunta sa Egypt, sa Egypt under Pharaoh, no? hanggang sa nat- natuklas na niya na siya pala ay Israelites. And then one day sa Exodus chapter 3, doon niya na-encounter ang Panginoon sa burning bush. Tinawag ng Panginoon si Moses sa kanyang pangalan. Tama? So, Moses, Moses. And si Moses nag Here I am. Hallelujah. Sino dito yung tinawag specifically ng Panginoon sa kanyang pangalan? Diba? Hallelujah. Si Lord, maraming pamamaraan pag tinawag ka. At ang gusto ng Panginoon ay tayo daw ay mag And once we respond to the calling of God, automatically, we have a work. We have a purpose. Dahil hindi magsasayang si Lord na tawagin ang pangalan mo o tawagin ka for nothing. Because God wanted us to be used as His vessel. 
Hindi lang titigil si Lord for salvation or to have eternity para makasama tayo. But God wants us to use us as His vessel. Amen? So, your life here, no, nung tinanggap mo ang Panginoon, automatically, meron kang trabaho. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, meron kang trabaho. Hallelujah. Amen. Kasi sabi sa Matthew, go ye and make disciple. Diba? Yun ang trabaho natin as Christian. We receive the grace of God. We receive the salvation. We receive His gospel. Binago niya tayo and He wanted us to be used para yung iba namang mga unbeliever ay makaramdam at makatanggap din ng salita ng Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. So I'll give three points. Point number one po. Sabi dito, point number one is victorious leadership acknowledge God. Victorious leadership acknowledge God. So makikita natin dun sa verse 9 to 10, no? sabi niya, ni um, Moses kay Joshua, O Joshua, humanap ka dyan ng mga makakasama mo sa laban. Okay? Ako, aakyat ako sa hill, pupunta ako sa hill um, with the rod of God in my hands. Na? Specific with the rod of God in my hands. So, ibig sabihin, in every leadership, in every battle ng, ng team or ng grupo, like Moses, He always include God sa buhay niya. And even in our, we as an individual person, no, magiging matagumpay lang din ang buhay natin kung sinasama natin ang Panginoon sa lahat ng ating battle, sa lahat ng ating mga plano, sa lahat ng mga desires ng puso natin. Everything will be victorious. I like the song kanina, the victor, victor's crown. No? Na tayo tagumpay na. Tagumpay na tayo, inilalaban na lang natin to, nilalakaran na lang natin to, tinatakbo na lang natin to. Because sabi, blessings, favors, victory, overtake us. Nandun na. No? Kaya dumarating lang tayo sa mga process, sa mga battle. But this is just for a while. Kasi ang gusto ng Lord, magpatuloy kang lumaban. Because the victory is already there. We are fighting for victory. Hallelujah. Dahil atin to. Nasa kamay mo na yan. Sabi, victorious leadership. Victorious si Moses. Tama? At kung makikita natin mamaya pa dun sa points or yung binasa natin, anong sabi dun sa dulo? Nanalo siya. Amen? Because he um, acknowledged God sa buhay niya. Or even in the battle. Sabi, who is a leader? Sino ba tong mga leader na to? Amen? So, sabi nga, in the family, merong leader na tinatawag. That is the parents. No? Even in school, sa classroom, di ba? Nagbo-voting ang mga estudyante for president, vice president, o sa small group lang ng classroom, no? may gagawin lang silang project, pipili sila ng leader, assistant leader. So, kahit saan, meron tayong dinatayo, meron inilalagay sa posisyon ng mga leaders, and even in the church. Pag walang leader, magulo. <laughs> diba? Lahat yan, kanya-kanya yan. Diba? Pag wala nga ang magulang sa bahay, minsan magulo, nagkakagulo, nag-aasahan. Diba? Nagtuturuan. O, oh, ikaw magugas. Ay, hindi. Toka mo yan. Hindi. Sige, ikaw mag-ano yan. Dahil ate ko, ikaw mag-ano. Diba? So, pero pag nandyan ang magulang, automatic, merong disiplina. Amen? So, mahalaga ang leaders. Tama ba? Na-appreciate ba natin ang leaders? Hoy, walang nagsalita. Meron. Hallelujah. We appreciate our leaders. Amen? Sabi, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Our leader here in the church, no? sila ay tumatayo dahil alam natin na tinawag sila ng Panginoon. Tama? Alam natin and we trust them. Sabi nga, a teamwork builds the trust. Dahil kung tayo ay team, wala tayong tiwala sa isa't isa, mahirap tayo maka-move forward. Para bang hindi natin sure kung talaga bang siya ay kasama natin. Kung talaga ba siya ay nakakagaan sa atin o nakakabigat. Because there is something issue. Amen? 
So the very important in a teamwork to have a trust. Na alam mo, kaya mo yan, kasama kita, katuwang tayo, we are one, diba? Sabi nga sa kanta, hawak kamay, di kita iiwan. <laughs> sa paglakbay, oh, diba? <laughs> Naglalakbay. Diba? May paglalakbay tayo as a team. Kasi meron tayong goal. Meron tayong gustong patunguhan, mapagtagumpayan. Hallelujah. Sabi, He knows the way. They know the leader knows the way. And this way is the truth. This way is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Kaya yung relationship nila na natanggap sa Panginoon ay nais din nila na maturuan tayo, mabuild tayo our relationship with Jesus Christ. Noong una, sinasamahan tayo ng leader no, na inaakay tayo. Ito si Lord. Ito, tinuturuan tayo. Pinapakilala tayo. Even in our small group or cell group or nest. Diba? To build our relationship with the Lord deeper. Amen? They know the way and even they go the way. They are standing in the righteousness ng Panginoon. They are walking. Ipinapakita nila yung paglakad nila sa, sa righteousness ng Panginoon, sa path of life ng Panginoon. Even though there are times in our leader, may mga conditions sa buhay nila or situations or struggle, but still, ipinapakita pa rin sa atin ng leader that they need to stand in front of you at ipakita yung katatagan nila sa pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah! And God pleases those people or those leader who stands in front of their situations. Pinipili pa rin nilang tumayo para lang i-release at ibahagi ang salita ng Panginoon o ibigay ang buhay nila sa atin. Hallelujah. Amen. They go the way. They they show the way. Paano yung lifestyle nila? Leaders are not perfect and there are no perfect leaders. Oh, binalita. Leaders are not perfect and there are no perfect leaders. Di ba? Ang galing. Hallelujah. Walang perfecto na leader. Walang perfect na church. Walang perfect pa sa atin dito. Tama? But we are on progress. We are ongoing. As long as we live, as long as we stay in the presence ng Panginoon, ang pangako ng Panginoon that we will be transformed from glory to glory. Sometimes we pressure ourselves, no? Ah, Christian ako, pero ito na naman ako. Ha? Huh? Ito na naman ako na parang yung ugali ko bumabalik na naman. Hallelujah. But, hallelujah, it's not a pressure. Huwag mo i-pressure yung sarili mo na ikaw ay tuluyang mabago. Na para bang nagtanim ka ng seed, gusto mo agad bukas, nag expect ka na ng bunga. Hindi pa ayo ganon. There is a process. May proseso. And in God's time, hallelujah, sabi nga po kanina, um, in everything, the be- it is beautiful in God's time. Na kapag tayo, hindi natin pre-nature sarili natin, nagmadali, hallelujah, para tayong hinug, ang tawag doon? Hinug sa pilit, no? Ang gusto ni Lord, genuine yung fruits natin. Hallelujah. Genuine yung talagang pagbabago natin. Hindi ito yung makikita lang ng tao, ng leader, yung pagbabago outside. Because it is the Lord who knows what's inside of us. Amen? And God wants a genuine fruits from us. So the leader shows the way. Ipinapakita nila yung lifestyle ng isang Kristo sa buhay nila. Nagsusumikap tayo. We are working our salvation. Amen. We are working our destiny to reach our destiny. We are working our character with the help of those leaders na pinili ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. And I believe it's not accident. Accident, ba yan? Katabi mo? Hallelujah. It's not an accident. Para bang magpapasalamat ka sa Panginoon that one day, wow, Lord, dito mo ako dinala? No? Dati parang ayoko sumama sa, kung ikukwento ko lang na 2008, ayoko sumama sa church, no, nauuna yung um, family ko, magulang ko, ayoko, sabi ko, um, kumbaga, I'm the number one persecutor nila, at the same time, dumarating yung sa point na ayoko, no, ayoko, iyak-iyakan lang sila dyan eh, ayoko kasi ganto ganyan 
Alam mo yung time na yon na parang ipagpapasalamat mo pala no? sa mga taong ito, sa mga leaders mo na nagtsaga sila sa'yo. Ipagpapasalamat mo pala because you are the result of a prayer of them. Nila, ako'y resulta ng panalangin. And thank God may nanalangin sa akin. Amen? And that you have to appreciate those things. You got to appreciate the time, the effort of the people surrounded you. Hallelujah. Ipagpasalamat mo yon at wag mo silang pagbawalang bahala. Because God puts them into your life. Appreciate those people. Amen? So these are the people or person who can enlist the aid and support of others in the accomplishment of a common task. Diba? Pag may leader tayo, for example, sa school, may project, Yung leader mo magtatanong, oh, nagawa mo na ba yung assignment mo, yung assign sa'yo? Pagsasabihin ng classmate, ay hindi pa eh. O sige, alika, tulungan kita. There is someone who will help us. Tama? May tumutulong sa atin. Kaya nga sabi, maging open tayo with our leader. Hallelujah. Amen? And if not, time will come once you regain the trust. Hallelujah. Once we trust, Ando doon yung pagbukas ng pinto ng ating mga puso para sa leader na ibinigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Amen. Hallelujah. Because these people, I believe, these people will not hurt you, will not harm you, but these people na inasay ng Panginoon sa buhay natin will help us grow, will help us to be strengthened. And so trust them. Amen. Give time for them. Hallelujah. Next, please. Romans chapter 13, verse 1 to 2. Be a good citizen. All governments are under God. Insofar as there is peace and order, it's God's order. So live responsibly as a citizen. If you're irresponsible to the state, then you're irresponsible with God. And God will hold you responsible. It is clear. Yeah? Klaro yung sinasabi ng Panginoon o ni Paul dito sa book na to. Klaro para sa atin as a follower ng Panginoon or as a follower sa ating leaders. Sabi kahit sino yan, kahit hindi perfecto yan, kahit si Moses bulol-bulol, hindi madali kay Moses, di ba? Yung naging leader sa mga Israelites. Bakit? Kasi yung mga Israelites, ang daming reklamo. Yung mga Israelites, puro sinisisi si Moses. Ay naku Moses, sana hindi na lang ako sumama sa'yo. Mabuti pa sa Egypt, nakakakain kami. Sana. Diba? Parang sinisisi niya si Moses. Eh si Moses naman, sumunod lang naman siya sa Panginoon. Ganon, kahirap ang isang sitwasyon ng isang leader. But still, they choose the calling ng Panginoon kahit sugatan na sila. Amen? Hallelujah. We are team. We are team. Amen? And I believe na sa bawat uh, member or leader, no, um, we must, sabi nga, we must give and appreciate this leader. So we have to be a good citizen. Galangin mo yan. Respetuhin mo yan. No? Kahit hindi perfect, kahit hindi magaling, hindi matalino yung leader mo. No? Sa, sa cell group, kahit sabi mas matalino ka pa, mas graduate ka, pero yung leader na inassign sa'yo ng Panginoon, hindi graduate, hindi magaling mag-English or whatsoever. Hallelujah! But, may ipinapakita ang Panginoon dito sa'yo. Amen? To build yung iyong obedience and submission to this authority under you. Once in overpower mo ang leader mo, sabi, you are, you are responsible with God. Si Lord ang responsible sa'yo. Hallelujah! Si Lord na ang responsible sa'yo. Amen? Next, please. Hebrews 13, 17. Obey your spiritual leaders and do what they say. Their work is to watch over you, your souls, and they are accountable to God. Give them reason 
to do this with joy and not with sorrow. That would certainly not be for your benefits. Meron tayong papel, di ba, with our leader. Meron tayong tatrabahuhin, di ba? Also, hindi lang leader ang magtatrabaho sa atin, but also we as a follower of our leader na tinalaga o nilagay ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Ano yon To obey our spiritual leaders. That's our work. Uh, sumunod. At kahit saan tayo ilagay, obedience is an act of worship. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, mahal lang natin ng Lord, pero hindi natin kayang sumunod sa mga taong ibinigay niya sa atin. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, mahal natin ang magulang natin, pero hindi naman natin sila masunod. Pag sinabing umuwi ka ng maaga, hindi ka umuwi ng maaga, di ba? Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin, mahal kita ma, pa, pero wala kang pagsunod. It's nonsense. Because love, sabi ng Lord, sa kanyang um, word, love, if you love me, you will obey my command. Amen? So if we have a relationship with God and we love God, gagawin natin ang pagsunod. Hindi lang sa Panginoon, but also to those people na ibinigay niya sa atin. Amen? With authority. Pinapractice natin dito kasi napakalaga sa isang team ang merong pagsunod. We are building relationship, no trust, at the same time, the obedience and submission to our we as one. Amen? We need to be united because we are talking. No? Pinag-uusapan natin yung fellow citizen. Tayo yun as church. We are the body of Christ and the Lord is the head and we are His body. No? Pinagtagpo-tagpo tayo dito sa isang church and God is good. Hallelujah. Amen? So let us be a joy and not a burden to our leader. Maging, sabi nga, maging kagalakan ka. No? Hindi ka na yung bubuhatin, kundi isa ka na sa nagbubuhat. Amen? Hallelujah. Nagbubuhat na tayo sa church. Hindi na tayo bubuhatin o hihilahin pa because matagal na tayo dito. Iilan lang yung mga bago na nakikita natin dito. And thank God because there are new people na dinadala dito ng Panginoon na tayong mga old, oh, luma na, oldies. Tayong mga uh, matagal na sa Panginoon. We must be also, sabi kanina, show the way. Goes the way. Yung nakikita ang Kristo naman sa buhay natin for these new people na padadala ng Panginoon na tayo naman ang magbubuhat at tutulong sa kanila para sila ay lumago. Amen. Hindi na tayo bubuhatin. Amen. I pray na this word ay maging um, ma-reveal o maano sa atin. Amen. Hindi na tayo bubuhatin bagkos tayo ay makikibuhat na. We as a team of worship the King. Amen. Next. So number two point is support one another and work together as a team. Awan ko naisip ko lang yun. Sabi ko nga, Lord, I, I know that we are team. No? Team kami na kailangan, alam mo yung talaga as a team na kagayad ng Israelites, even though may mga differences sila, even though may mga pasaway sa grupo ni Moses as an Israelite, but still, no, nalaman nila na merong laban, no, nagtulong-tulong pa rin sila. Tama? At makikita mo dun sa verse 11 to 13 na to, yung scenario na si Moses... Napapagod na siya no, to raise his hands, praying, worshiping God. But there are two persons beside him and this is Har and this is Aaron. And God provide these people for him to support him from that time. Amen. Sa mga panahon na nahihirapan ang leader na ito, merong her, merong Aaron na ibinigay ang Panginoon. And thank you Lord. Dahil meron tayong mga tao, members, no, core leaders, mga members, every ministry na talagang nandyan to support the team. To support each work, no, to support each services. Hallelujah. We need to support one another. We need you. Hallelujah. Kailangan tayo ng leadership. Tama ba? Si Moses, kung wala si Hor at saka si Si um, Aaron, 
Nakita nung dalawa na kapag tinataas ni Moses ang kanyang mga kamay, nananalo si Joshua in the physical battle. Tama? Pero kapag binababa ni Moses ang kamay niya, natatalo ang team ni Joshua. Sa so, ibig sabihin, hindi aksidente, dinala din ni Lord si, si Hora at saka. na dinala ng Panginoon. That a leadership, there are times, hindi, din nila, hindi nila kaya, kaya. Limit yung kanilang kakayanan because sabi nga, tao lang din yan. No? May limitasyon. Hallelujah. But we need, but the leader, sabi ko nga, the leadership also need us to support them, to work with them. Paano kung pag dumating, gaya niya may sakit, sa isang member natin ng family at yung pinakananay natin. Hallelujah. Naramdaman ba ninyo yun? Yung burden or something na um, support na needs nila? Amen? Prayer support, emotional support, or anything that you can give to our spiritual family or leaders or mommy or daddy. ba? Diba? So what we need is our support also. as a member of this team, of this family, for them. Because we are one. Iisa tayo. Let's keep that in our mind, that we are one. Isa tayo kay Kristo. Hindi kaiba. No? Lahat tayo na nandito, patungo doon sa plano na destiny ng Panginoon. Yun ang gusto natin. Yun yung plan. Yun yung goal ng Lord. Every one of us wanted na ma-reach in destiny with God. Every one of us wanted to finish this race. Amen? Hindi pwedeng sila lang. You are part of this team. At hinati-hati nga po dito sa team na to, yung ministry. Amen? Tama? At doon sa ministry to, nagsusuportahan kayo dapat. Hindi kayo magkakalaban. Amen. Israelites um, and Moses, Joshua, they are one. Na-divide lang sila dahil merong isang team. Like for example, si Moses, he is the team na magpa-pray. The warrior, the prayer ministry. Para bang si Joshua, siya yung lumalaban sa kabilang team naman, no, physical, in a physical na ibang mga leaders na nandito or ministry na nandito. Hallelujah. Na gets natin, but still there are one. Iisa sila. Iisa silang pamilya. Amen? So dito, I believe na meron tayong naiintindihan ngayon na meron na, na itatanim sa puso natin na tayo ay magkakapatid kay Kristo. Isang normal na pamilya na kapag nagkatampuhan, eh maya-maya, okay na, nagkapatawaran. Same thing here with the church. We got to put it in our mind, in our heart, that we are team. We are family. Pag nagkatampuhan, nagkapatawan, okay na, balik tayo sa trabaho. Back to the work. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi Galatians chapter 6 verse 2, carry each other's burden and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5:11, therefore encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Amen. Amen. Ang leader, they have this representative, no? May mga representative to reach our lives. Okay? And makikita din natin talaga sa kanila every time na pag sa small group mayroon na share about the situations, no? Um, Siyempre, pag-uusapan, kailangan masettle to. Kailangan masolusyonan ang bawat problema. Hindi ito, just wanted to clear na hindi ito just to make gossip, no? But this is a thing na masettle ang bawat sitwasyon. Hallelujah. Because sabi nga, carry each other's burden. Paano kung hindi namin alam kung ano mga burden na dapat tulungan? 
mga problema na personal ninyo or even family or something, ba? Diba? Paano namin matutulungan? Paano tayo matutulungan ng mga leaders? Ha? Sabi nga, we carry each other. Kung ano yung mga bagay na meron ka na nakakabigat sa'yo, we are here, your leaders there to support you. Hallelujah. Amen. So encourage one another and build each other up just as you are doing. Next. Ito. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 14, 26. Now the body is not made up of one part but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, no, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, kula tayo mata, where would that sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as we wanted to be. So lahat tayo dito, kinumpara sa katawan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. Kung babago, babasahin pa natin, sige tuloy po natin. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there is one, there are many parts but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. Hallelujah. On the contrary, sabi pa, and the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. Kinumpara tayo ng Panginoon sa isang katawan. No? Bakit? Kasi kung makikita natin dito, each one, each part of the body, There is function. Diba? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa kamay mo na hindi ko to kailangan. Ano, pag hindi mo kailangan yung kamay mo, puputulin mo. No? Magiging incomplete ka, magiging disabled ka, hindi mo to kailangan. Hindi. Kailangan natin tong mga kamay na to para sumubo, para kumain, para magtrabaho. We need each Every part of the body, same thing na kinompare tayo ng Panginoon sa katawan niya. Because we need each other. Hindi daw natin pwedeng sabihin na hindi natin kailangan ang isa't isa. Hallelujah! Kailangan mo yung katabi mo. Tama? Hindi mo kailangan? <laughs> kailangan nyo ba ang isa't isa? Hallelujah! Napakatalino, habang binabasa natin to, o oh, ako, ang talino mo, Lord, no? na may meditate, kasi bihira ako itong maano, di ba? Nababasa lang, but merong mga revelation pang lalong binibigay si Lord. Kasi ako yung isang tao na, hindi ko naman sila kailangan. Di ba? Kaya ko mabuhay mag-isa. I'm strong enough. Di ba? Oh. <laughs> Kaya kong tumakbo mag-isa. Kaya kong kumain mag-isa. Kahit dumating ako sa point na nagkaedad na ako, kaya ko. Oh, nagkaedad na ako, disabled, may wheelchair ka na. Kaya ko. Ha? Hindi ko kayo kailangan. Ha? May aksaklay ka na. Nagiging prideful ka pa. Kaya ko. Pero nakikita naman, physically, hindi mo na kailangan. Nakadapa ka na. No? Minsan ganun tayo. Naging, sa pagiging strong natin, nagkakaroon tayo ng pride. Hallelujah. Amen? But the truth is that sinasabi ng Panginoon in these words that we need each other. Kailangan ko kayo pala. <laughs> Ala ko, hindi ko kayo kailangan. <laughs> oh, mahilig pa ako magsalit. Pakialam ko. Pakialam ko sa kanila. Bahala sila. <laughs> Problema nila yun, no? Hindi ko problema. May sarili kong problema eh. Kaya <laughs> ganun tayo. Pero pag binigay mo pala sa Panginoon yung buhay mo, sabi, there are three B's. B. Buhay, bahay, bulsa ang ibibigay mo sa kapatiran mo. Hallelujah. Bakit buhay? Because you're giving your life to them. 
You're investing your time with them. No? Bulsa. O, pag wala siyang paano, halika na rin, labas tayo. No? Kailangan mo na kausap. Tara, labas tayo. Kapit tayo. Sana yung magyaya sa akin, kapit tayo. <laughs> Madali lang po akong yayain. Kapi lang. Go. Go tayo. Basta kahit sa may kape. <laughs> ha? And bahay. Your offering. Makikita mo sa buhay nila, Daddy, wala na silang privacy. Tama. The door, the, the gate is so much open. Yung buhay nila so much open. Because they are our chosen leader. No, wala na silang itatago pa sa ating lahat. Hallelujah. Very open. Bukas na bukas ang bahay nila para sa atin. Tara, lipat na tayo doon. <laughs> Gusto natin lagi mapalakas, no? Hallelujah. Those in need, merong leader na pinili ang Panginoon. Kaya hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na hindi ko sila kailangan. Kailangan natin ang isa't isa. Amen. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, kailangan kita. Hallelujah. Baka mamaya, iba yung katabi ninyo na, kailangan kita. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need each other to finish the race. Hallelujah. Next. While our presentable parts, continue pala, need to special treatment. But God has combined the members of the body and has given greater honor to the parts that lack it so that there should be no division in the body but that its part should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Amen? Kapag meron tayo dito, kasi ito yung gusto ko dito. Ah, hindi talaga tayo pwedeng hindi natin kailangan ng isa't isa. Kinumpara ng Panginoon yung katawan niya, uh, tayo as church sa katawan niya. Kasi, ah, pag ayaw mo pala yung kasama mo, puputulin mo. ba diba? yung sa katawan natin, sige, pag ayaw mo, wala ka namang pakinabang eh. Maputol na nga lang kita. Hindi naman natin yung magagawa. And we have no choice. Hindi kita kailangan. Mag-division na tayo. No? Hindi pwede Para ba yung asawa mo, ay hindi na kita kailangan, wala kang kapakinabang, maghiwalay na tayo. Hindi pwede kasi iisa na kayo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Kaya sinasabi, there would be no divisions in the body. Kinumpara tayo, sige nga, pag ayaw mo na yung katawan mo, parang hindi na maganda yung ano, hindi na makinis, tanggalin mo kaya. ba? Diba? I-divide mo kaya, hiwain mo kasi wala nang saysay. Na-paralyze ka, for example, pinutol mo, Hindi mo magagawa yun. Hallelujah. There would be no division. Ganon katalino si Lord. Ganon kagaling si Lord. Hallelujah. Kukumpara tayo sa katawan niya para daw hindi tayo magkaroon ng division. Amen. Hallelujah. And sa pa, kapag daw nag-suffer ang isa, ang lahat daw ay magsasuffer. Remember the Agora times nung nawalan ng church? Lahat, di ba, there is suffering. Nagkaisa naman talaga, di ba, palipat-lipat ng church. Napunta sa Agora, basketball, kasibula, naabutan ko pa yon, Di ba, talagang bit-bit si chair, bit-bit. Lahat, may, may, may trabaho. Lahat nakiisa. Di ba, nagsuffer. Hindi lang to mga worker ng church. Hindi lang sila magsusuffer. But oh, we as a body of Christ, naiisa sa Panginoon. Lahat tayong magsusuffer. Para bang sila nagbubuhat, ikaw, sige, pay-pay ka lang. Uh, ba? Diba? Parang ano ba yan? Pamilya ba yan? Hindi ganun. Lahat sila gumagalaw, ikaw nag-aantay ka lang dyan. Hindi ganun. Amen? We are one in Christ. Everybody will function. Every part will function. Amen? So I pray na talagang lahat tayo makikiisa na sa lahat ng gawain dito. Amen? Yung sinasabing support. One, support the team. Work together as one. Work, na? Ibig sabihin sa lahat, kung tayo'y isa, so lahat ng gawain, pupuntahan mo ngayon. Teka. Teka. Lahat ng gawain, pupunta ka. Kapag available ka. If you really support this team, this family, this church that God gave you, you will support in every work. Ako, pagdating na sa ganito, ayaw na ata. Basta, I pray, no, mag-matured tayo doon. Let's be matured. 
Yung sinasabing sumusuport tayo, iisa tayo pag nagpa-pre, iba yung puwersa. Totoo yan. Iba yung puwersa. Next, let's read. Ito yung sinasabi ko. An enemy might be able to defeat one person. Kapag nag-iisa ka, nag isolate ka, the enemy could defeat you. Malis ka sa fellowship, malis ka sa grupo, the enemy can defeat you. Akala natin, misa malakas tayo. No? But those are self-defense na kaya ko pa. No? But deep within, hindi natin kaya. Tama? So the enemy might be able to defeat one person. But two people can stand back to back. Okay? To defend each other and three people are even stronger. They are like a rope that is three parts wrapped together and very hard to break. Kaya nga yun tayo, no, nagsama-sama dito. Once we pray, no, sabi two or three that gathers together, the presence of God is in their midst. Lalo niya tayong pinapalakas, pinapatatag, pinapagtibay bilang katawan niya. Amen. Okay lang yung nag-work tayo or nagpe-pray tayo individual but it, there's a word also in the the Panginoon in the Bible that do not neglect the gathering of the saints. Never neglect. Bakit very important kaya sinabi specific ni Lord two or three. Hindi niya sinabi one only. My presence, yes, dumadating ang Lord once we have a personal intimacy with him. Bumaba pare ng Panginoon pero iba yung puwersa o lakas na magkakasama tayo bilang anak ng Diyos nang presensya niya talagang alam mo yon it's really strengthen us stronger amen i believe na alam ko na iintindihan natin yung ibig sabihin ng words na to amen we have also responsible for that word Na sinasabi ng Lord do not neglect the gathering of the saints so if we are team here No, isa na tayo, tumanggap kay Kristo, ikaw ay miyembro, pamilya ng worship the King, iisa tayo. We will gather as one in Christ. We will pray as one in Christ. Hallelujah. Because once na, na, na may isang puwersa tayo, alam mo yung lahat ng pinagpapray natin sa Panginoon, ang bilis, tama? ang bilis isagutin ng Panginoon. We will magkakaroon tayo ng isang matagumpay na samahan, na isang church. At sabi pa, dito ay magiging tagumpay natin or it will give us rejoices also if there are one of our family ay nagtatagumpay. Tama? Remember, sa lahat ng pinupuntahan ng leader natin, ni Pastor Hener, sa lahat ng incubation, everything, lahat ng tapakan niya, there is revival. Ang daming mga tao na dumarating, na re-revive, hunger sa Panginoon. At talaga naman umaapoy, even youth people, even young people, diba? even the leaders, uhaw na uhaw sila. And there is victory in that place, in that incubation, seminar. At kung tayo ay connected sa leader, sa ating tatay, nagre-rejoice din tayo. Amen? Kasi nakita mo, uy, daddy namin yan. Leader namin yan sa church. Worship the king yan. Lahat tayo nang forward din ng post ni daddy, di ba? No mga incubation nangyayari. So, pinopost mo yan. Nire-forward mo yan. Tama, nire-repost mo. Because you're proud. Because you're one of the member or family ng worship the king. Proud ka. Amen? So once na yung isa ay nagtagumpay, we will also be rejoicing. Hindi yung para bang nagtagumpay yung kapatid mo o yung katabik mo, parang inggit na inggit tayo. That's not good. God wants us to lift each other up. Hindi to, ano to, yung nahihilahan. But everyone must lift each other. Amen? May nangungunang leader, hilahin ka pataas. Kung ikaw nasa baba, i-push mo siya pataas. Hindi mo siya pagtutulakan. Amen. So, yung tagumpay ng isang miyembro ay tagumpay natin lahat. Tagumpay natin lahat. <laughs> Hallelujah. Next po. And point number three, last. The Lord is our banner. Amen. Kung makikita natin doon sa verse 14 to 16, sabi ni Moses, My Lord, the Lord is my banner. 
So sinasama ni Moses, tinataas ni Moses ang Panginoon sa buhay niya. And the Lord is his banner. Moses, God is also our banner. Amen? In our family, siya yung itinataas din natin. Sa buhay natin, even in our church, itinataas natin ang Panginoon. Amen? If God is our banner, it means His purpose stands firm. Hallelujah. And I believe na yung purpose ng Panginoon sa church, sa ating lahat, it will prevail. Hallelujah. Yung kay Moses dito, yung purpose ni Moses is to lead the Israelites no, to the promised land. Yun yung purpose ni Moses. I-lead ang mga Israelites sa promised land. And nangyari ba? No, nangyari. Kaya lang dumating sa point na si Moses <laughs> hindi rin nakapasok. Hallelujah. Pero yung purpose, yung assignment ni Lord kay, kay Moses, ginawa niya, nangyari. In spite of so many struggles ni Moses sa mga Israelite or dun sa wilderness, nangyari pa rin yung purpose ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. And even as, maaring ngayon nakikita natin parang blurred pa sa buhay mo. Ano ba Lord yung patutunguhan ko? Ano ba yung destiny ko? Ano ba yung great plans mo, purpose mo? No? Maari may mga ganun tayong question pa o oh, um, blurred pa na nakikita because of some distractions or struggles or conditions ng buhay mo. But take heart, sabi nga, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in the Lord. Amen? Magtiwala ka sa Panginoon because those things na nagihinder sa iyo na magpatuloy is just temporary. It's just for a while. Magpatuloy ka lang dahil mararating mo yung inihandang purpose o plano ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Hallelujah. Isaiah 14.24 The Lord Almighty has sworn, Surely as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purpose, so it will stand. Psalm 33.11 But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purpose of His heart through all generations. Actually, walang mahirap sa Panginoon. Tayo lang yung nahihirapan talaga. Alam mo yung tayo ng parabang tingin natin lagi mahirap, mahirap, mahirap. Minsan yung boses natin, lagi natin dinedeclare, mahirap, mahirap, mahirap. No? But let us declare na kaya natin to. No? Kaya natin to. Tayo ay matagumpay. Magtatagumpay ako. Yung i-practice natin sa buhay natin, sa bawat salita na ating bibig, kundi yung declaration, the power of declaration. na kaya mo to, matatapos ko to, magtatagumpay ako dito sa isang sitwasyon ko ngayon. Amen? Hallelujah. Because you know na yung purpose ng Panginoon ay mangyayari sa buhay mo. Hallelujah. Just like David, or just like Joseph, yung purpose ng Panginoon sa buhay niya, di ba? to become um, the Egypt, to become the governor of Egypt. Ang dami rin pinagdaanan ni Joseph, no? Binenta ng mga kapatid, no? Um, na na akusahan na ng rape, na kulong, ang dami. But still, yung purpose ng Panginoon ay nangyari pa rin sa buhay niya. Alam mo minsan kapag tayo nagmamature din, no? As a Christian, para ba excited? Ma- alam mo yung mga challenge ka, may excited ka, ano kaya mangyayari sa buhay ko ngayon, no? Para bang in every book of our lives, sabi nga Ako na sa 44 chapter na ng buhay ko this year, 44 chapter na no. <laughs> tapos na 'yung, tapos na 'yung kumbaga, matatapos na 'yung 43 chapter. So, tapos na 'yung libro ng buhay natin, 'yung story ng buhay natin na ginawa ng Panginoon. Ano na ano na 'yung chapter mo ngayon? Nagtagong ka pa ka ba doon sa last chapter ng buhay mo? No? And every chapter, there's always a new season for us. In every chapter, there's always new victory for us. Amen? May iba-iba tayong kwento sa buhay. And let us always cherish that chapter of your life. Maging challenge to sa atin. Amen? Na magpatuloy, magtiwala sa Panginoon, itaas natin ang banner ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Next, please. If God is our banner, it means He is with us in every trial. Kasama mo ang Panginoon. Kasama natin ang bawat isa sa bawat laban dito sa church. Sa ba- kasama natin ang pamilya natin sa bawat battle then in the family. Amen? Nagtutulungan. 
So even us, kasama natin ang Panginoon sa bawat laban. Hindi tayo iniiwan ng Diyos. Amen? God will never leave us nor forsake us. Yung presence ng Panginoon kasama natin. And kung makikita natin, no, si Moses, God provided um, Aaron and Hor. Tama? Sa buhay ni Moses. Nandun siya sa isang battle pero inalaw ng Panginoon na makasama ni Moses ang dalawang leader na to na si Hor at Aaron to support him, to work with him. Amen? Na in every battle, nandun din sila. Tinutulungan. So, if there is battle, no, in our family or even in the church, nandyan ang bawat isa para magtulungan. Para mag-protectionan, mag-covering up, you know, ando dun yung pagkakaisa. Hallelujah. Sabi dito sa Isaiah 41.10, Do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. Hallelujah. Huwag tayong matakot. Sabi nga po, dumaan ka man sa ilog, hindi ka malulunod. Dumaan ka man sa apoy, hindi ka masusunog. Yan ay pangako ng Panginoon sa atin. Hallelujah. Amen. Na kahit na anong titigas ng ulo ng mga Israelites, ang Panginoon sinasamahan pa rin sila. Diba? Pinapakain pa rin sila sa wilderness. Hindi sila pinabayaan pa rin ng Panginoon. Sometimes ganun din tayo. No? Kahit na anong pasaway natin, ang Panginoon hindi tayo iniiwan. Lagi tayong sinasamaan. Even though sometimes we are not faithful, but God is always faithful to us. James 1.12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when we have stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Ganda ng kanta kanina, the vic- victor's crown. Diba? Na may crown na. Andiyan ang crown na ibibigay sa atin ang Panginoon. Amen? That one day, haharap tayo sa Panginoon, sasabihin ng Lord sa atin, Well done, my faithful servant. Na sa kabila ng iyong mga pagsubok sa buhay, o sa kabila ng pagsubok dito sa church na nagkakaisa tayo, we still have that faith. Amen. Na, 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 na tinatayuan pa rin natin yung pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. That we still fight the good fight of faith. That we still live by faith and not by sight. Maaari wala pa tayong church, no? But we believe that we have faith, no? Namumuhay tayo sa pananampalataya that one day the Lord will flow the resources, the provisions in building this church. Amen. Eh, hindi naman actually si Lord nakatingin doon sa literal, but nagkatingin ang Lord sa atin. For we are His church. Amen. And He want that this church, tayo, ay maging matatag sa Kanya. I will build my church upon this rock. Andyan si Kristo sa iyo. Hallelujah. So, hindi ka iiwan ng Panginoon. God is always with you. Next. If God is our banner, it means His provisions sustains us. Hallelujah. Amen. Pangako ng Panginoon ay isusustain tayo. Physically, spiritually. Diba? Now, sabi nga, pag nag-say yes ka kay Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, Nag-yes ka, nag-commit ka sa Panginoon, automatically, alam mo sa sarili mo na hindi ka pababayaan ng Panginoon. Ipoprovide ng Lord lahat ng pangangailangan mo. Sabi sa Philippians 4.19, And my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ. Sabi pa sa Luke 12.24, Consider the raver, ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn, yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Diba? Nilika ka ng Panginoon. You are God's masterpiece. You are precious. You are wonderful sa Panginoon. At yung nilika ngayang yan, tayo ay hindi kailanman pababayaan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Everything will be sustained. 
Nakakatuwa nga ang Panginoon kasi alam mo yun, akala mo itong araw na to, walang-wala kang makain, tapos biglang may kakatok sa bahay mo, o oh, groceries, o oh, ulam. Alam mo yun, ganun si Lord na nakikita niya yung sitwasyon ng kanyang mga anak, ganun ka-faithful ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. But sometimes, kagaya ng Israelites, dumarating tayo sa point na punong-puno tayo ng pagre-reklamo. No? Pinapakain na, binigay na ni Lord ang mana, ang pugo, everything. Ang dami pa rin nilang reklamo. I pray na tayo ay dumating sa, um, alam mo yon na contento sa bawat binibigay ng Panginoon. Na puno ng pasasalamat. Amen? Kung makikita natin sa story na even God sa wilderness na naglalakad ang mga Israelites, He provide the clouds of His presence in the day. Tama? Habang naglalakad sila sa ara o sa um, initan, andyan yung appreciation ng Panginoon, kinokoveran sila. And even the fire at night, yung presence ng Lord, sinasamahan pa rin sila. Iniilawan ang mga Israelites sa wilderness. God provides and even us. Nakikita ng Lord ko anong laman ng puso mo, anong pangangailangan mo. Emotionally, He will sustain you. Diba? Physically, He will sustain you. Spiritually, He will sustain you. God is our provider. Amen? Itaas lang natin ang banner. Itaas mo lang ang Diyos sa buhay mo lagi. Makita ang Kristo na pinaprioritize mo siya. Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and walk in, and walk in His righteousness and everything shall be given. Unahin lang natin ang Panginoon. Lumakad ka. Sa kanyang katwiran, lahat ay nakahanda na para sa ating lahat. Hindi nagkulang ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Tayo lang minsan ang nagkukulang. Aminado tayo. So I pray that this, night, this morning, na lahat ng salita ng Panginoon, meron tayong natanggap. Meron tayong na-absorb. From a teamwork, no, as a team, as a family, From our leadership, sa mga leadership, hindi natin sila kaaway, but they are our leaders. Nakakampi tayo every night or every every meeting, gumagawa sila ng plans to strengthen us, to build us more. Amen? Mag-grow tayo, that their prayer, that, uh, sa prayer nila, walang iba sila yung pagpapray din, kasama ang bawat pamilya ng worship the king to be strengthened. Nagwo-work sila in their secret place. Maaaring sa mga pag-itsura, mga itsura, mga mukha nila or standing nila, they are strong. Parang hindi mo maramdaman na wala kang halaga sa kanila. But the truth, you are important to them. That behind the scene, may ginagawa ang mga leaders this church. And we as a team, we need each other. We need to support each other. We got to work together as well. May tatapusin tayong laban. Sabi sa kanta, we will arise. Diba? Ano yan? We will arise and accomplish the will of God. That's the work. We will arise and accomplish the work of God. Itutuloy natin ang trabaho ng Panginoon. An individual has a work. Amen. You are not just a part of a fuel. You are not just a part of Breakthrough Kids or a part of this church. But you as a person has a work to that ministry na niyayakap mo. Amen. You got to show up. Pakita kayo doon sa mga taong involved at nilagay ng Panginoon sa buhay niyo. Hallelujah. Because God is the center of everything. Ginagawa natin to lahat only for God. Walang mahirap sa Panginoon. Kung siya'y ina-acknowledge natin in this church, in your family, in our lives. Amen? Last week? Meron pa po ba? Last. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. Most important of all, Continue to show deep love for each other. Oh, hallelujah. Yung love. Love. The greatest command of God is love. Kaya natin minsan mahalin, kaya natin mahalin ang Panginoon. But when the next command to show deep love with each other, no, 
I pray that the Holy Spirit will continue to lead you into this deep love for your brothers and your sisters. Hallelujah. Love covers a multitude of sins. Yun lang, love. Mga nagkasala ang kapatira mo, ang kapatid mo, o sino pa man sa part of the family, or even here in the church, o kusan mo na-encounter yung kapatid mo na nagkasala sa you. But because you love God, you have a relationship with God, no? Tinuturo sa iyo ng Panginoon na yung pagmamahal na ibinigay sa iyo ng Panginoon. It covers a multitude of sin. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. This is an act of love. Hallelujah. God has given each of you a gift from His great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Yung mabigyan mo, sabi nga, ang lingkod ng Panginoon, bigyan mo lang yan ng isang basang tubig. Ang Panginoon ang babalik sa iyo, siksik, liklik, at umaapaw na biyaya. Amen. I-offer mo lang ng mga lingkod. No? Bawat isa. Hallelujah. And the gift na binigay sa iyo ng Panginoon, ibigay mo rin para sa Panginoon. You give it to them, you share it with one another in the ministry, sa work na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all close our eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Let's sing. Let's um, pray in the Spirit. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Father, Jesus, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, oh God, salamat, Panginoon. And as we sing, let us all stand. Na walang mahirap sa Panginoon. Hindi mahirap mahalin ang kapatid, kapatira natin or the brothers or sisters that is with us. But if we acknowledge God and love God, this love will continue to flow to them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's all sing. Walang mahirap sa Panginoon.
ng Panginoon na makapangyarihan walang mahirap sa iyo Natin. Hallelujah. Ang uh, point po, main point po ni Sister ay yung teamwork para magpatuloy tayo lumakas sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ito pong Exodus 17. Pag-i-flash please. Hallelujah. Please bear with me for a few minutes. Dahil meron po kung uh, gustong impart sa inyo, i-share sa inyo about this passage. This is a very significant passage. Hallelujah. Then all the congregation of the children of Israel said, ah, no, 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 17, yung text, yung passage kanina. 17, 15 to, ah, Exodus 17, 14 to 7, 18 ba yun? Hallelujah. Ayan, okay? Ah, no, 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 don't. Balik mo doon. Balik mo doon sa notes. 14. Sa 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this for, an, for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of Joshua that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. Next verse. As Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner, 16. For he said, because the Lord has sworn, the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Yung pong generation na ito, dito po nag-umpisa yung war with God. I will have war with Amalek. The Lord said, I will have war with Amalek. The Lord said, I will have war with Amalek. Ano itong Amalek? Amalek is a type of the flesh. Hello? Kaya hanggang ngayon sa generation natin, ito kalaban pa rin ni Lord. Yung flesh. At ito yung sumisira sa maraming mga mananampalataya. 
Ito yung pinaka-concern ni Pablo sa Corinthian, Church of Corinth. Sa 1 Corinthians chapter 5, mababasa natin doon ng isang insidente na na kina ano yung naging na, na, na burden, naging uh, isang challenge para po kay Paul. Haleluya. Ngayon tingnan po ninyo dito sa passage na ito, when si si Moses who was sitting on the rock He was seated on G- on Jesus the Christ. Yet, ang pagtaas ng kamay mangihina siya. Kailangan niya ng katulong. Hello. Si si Aaron and Ben and her. Those were the types of the Holy Spirit helping Moses para matalo yung fresh laban. Kalaban nila yan. naging nasa likod yan sa mga, sa mga paglalakad, paglalakbay ng mga Israelites, nasa likuran yung flesh, yung amalek. Matindi yung strategy ng flesh. Kaya nga from generation to generation, I will have war with amalek. Marasatin si amalek. Kahit na believer ka na. You know what? I got, re- I was restored from backsliding. Through, a, through the ministry of a very popular evangelist, American evangelist in the 80s, Jimmy Swaggart. But what happened? You know what happened to Jimmy Swaggart? Umagsak siya dahil sa flesh. Amalek. At pagbagsak niya, nandun umiiyak siya, nagpa, numingin ang tawad. I was crying with him dahil ito yung nag-restore sa akin sa pananampalatay. I got backslided. But during the 80s, may mga anak na ako. Yung mga mga preaching niya. Tat-touch ako. Hallelujah. And I was attending church sa uh, Assemblies of God sa Taft Avenue. Ngayon, na Cathedral of Praise na ngayon. During the time, as uh, Assemblies of God, Christ is the answer pa rin yun. Ay yung senior pastor, ay yung senior pastor, na kasingidat ko siguro during that time. He was so critical of him. Hindi, tuwing ano, linggo, atin kami, anong kikita ko yung kanyang criticism. So, ang pira naman itong pastor na ito. So, I, was, I, got the, I decided to leave the church. At uh, doon, ako, doon ako nag-church, naghanap ako na ibang church sa Brookside. And then, yung mga leaders niya, bin, uh, binisita pa ako minsan at tinanong, bakit na ako malis doon? Sabi ko, ganyan kasi lino natin eh. Ito si Jimmy Swaggart. He was a very good evangelist. Hanggang ngayon, siya ay ginamit. He was restored to to, to the faith as an evangelist. At uh, wala pa akong... Uh, siya po yung best evangelist para sa akin. At uh, in fact, yung aking very Bible ay kanyang uh, author. Mayroon pong uh, study Bible na ginagamit ko ngayon. May, may commentaries doon na it, it, it helped me so much in my studies. by learning. So, because of the flesh, parang kang bumagsak. Bumagsak si Jimmy Swaggart because of the flesh, nagkaroon siya ng babae, pero he was forgiven, and he was restored to ministry, and his ministry is being, being effective now, even even at this time. Hallelujah. Glory to God, and I praise God for, for this ministry. Ngayon, balik tayo kay Paul. Sa James, uh, sa Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Tingnan po natin. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. I-plus mo. Beginning in verse 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Tingnan natin itong fresh. Anong ginagawa itong fresh? Amalek. Sa pangalan, sa tunog na lang. Amalek. Fresh. Huh? It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you. And such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles that a man has his father's wife. <laughs> Tinan nyo, isipin ninyo anong klaseng immorality ito because of the flesh. Concern si Pablo dyan. Ito, matindi yung kanyang concern dito. At the verse na sinabi dito. Next verse please. And you are puffed up and have not rather mourn. Hindi kayo nagluksa. Alam niyo yung nangyayari niyan. Blessed are those who mourn For they shall be twisted, for they shall receive more, uh, more uh, comfort. That's the second uh, uh, beatitude. Nasa nasa J- uh, Matthew chapter 5. Do you know the beatitude? Nine beatitudes. Are, uh, do you do you memorize that? 
and to a blessed uh, you mourn. We mourn about our, the condition of ourselves. If a man, if, if sino man na hindi nagmumor sa condition ng kanyang makasalanang uh, puso, ay hindi siya blessed. Hallelujah. Blessed. Uh, and have not rather mourned that he who has done this, did, did, to, who has done this deed, might be taken away from among you. Gusto maalis ni Pablo itong lalaking ito na inasawa, kinapit yung kanyang, yung nanay, yung asawa ng natatay niya. Hallelujah. Tignan natin. This is the work of Amalek. Gusto kong bigyan natin emphasis yung passage ni ginamit ni sister about Amalek. Next verse. And you are, for I indeed, as absent in the body, in body, but present in spirit, have already judged as though I were present. Judge him who has done, who has so done this deed. Next. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, verse 5, deliver such a one to Satan. Gusto niya may deliver na yung, yung buhay nito, yung katawan na ito, kay Satan. In other words, Paul wanted this man to to be to die already. Okay? Isang leader is desiring for, for this kind of man, for this who sinned with Amalek to die. For what purpose? That this he, that his spirit may be saved on the day in the day of the Lord. So she still considers him. Kahit na naka, naka, nakarana siya ng ganito ang kasalanan, his soul will his spirit his soul will be saved yet. Hallelujah. So tandaan niyo to, alamin niyo to. No? Ha? Mga katotohanan ito. Na hindi ko mo tagkasala ka na na believer eh pierdo ka na ito, no. Ikusu nga i-deliver na ito kay satanas para ano para walang mahawa hello and he called this next verse and he referred to this as living living ito sa tinapay next verse your glorifying is not good do you not know that a little living livens the whole lamp huwag ka sana huwag sana magkaroon ng living dito para sa pro, uh, continual progress po natin. Iwasan natin ng liben. Ah, we are in the flesh. May amalik tayo dito. He's, he's, the Lord is still, is still warring. Have war with amalik na nasa atin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tingnan mo yung, yung katabi mo. Masaya yan, pero may amalik yan. Ako may amalik din. Ah, hello. And God, hindi ikaw lumalaban niya. Si Lord, sabi niya, I will have war from generation to generation with this flesh, this living. Hello. Are you learning something today? Yes. Hallelujah. Okay, tingnan na rin. So, so, that a little living livens the whole lump. Verse 7. Therefore, purge out the old living. Purgahin nyo. Purging. At isa sa mga processes, isa sa mga uh, uh, nangyayari sa ating purging dyan, hindi tayo but we do not miss prayer meetings so that we will be strengthened, edified with one another. Hallelujah. Because we are, we are in, we are citizens, we are co-citizens in the kingdom. Hallelujah. Yun po yung eternity na tinanggap natin. Because the kingdom of God is an eternal kingdom. Kung wala ka doon sa kingdom of God, you are not in eternity. You, in, in, in God's presence, you will have, you will, have, you will suffer eternal destruction. Eternal torment. Nakakatakot po yun. So, matakot kayo doon. Because we have received already the eternity with the presence of the Lord because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. Hallelujah. Palapakan natin si Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Ah, since you truly are unleavened, unleavened na tayo when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit has been given to us, unleavened na tayo. Yung flesh. So, kaya nga, we have an obligation, but not to the flesh. Romans chapter 8, we have an obligation, but not to the flesh. Our obligation is with the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are obliged to, the, to, to walk in the Holy Spirit. Yung po yung obligation natin. Oh, napakaganda po yung pangako ni Lord dito sa Romans chapter 8. There is no, no condemnation to those who are in Christ. 
for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death from the law of Amalek. Hallelujah. Yun po yung ang ganyan po yung mystery mo ito. ito. Hallelujah. Na atin pong dapat na mahalaman, matindihan at ipamuhay. Oh, glory to God. That is the faith na galing sa Diyos. Hindi sa iyo. Because it is God who is at war with Amalek. So mga kapatid, hallelujah, we have, meron po tayong, yun, si Pablo, yung ating pong leader. Kaya nga, lastly, yung uh, Ephesians chapter 5, be imitators of God, just as I am, imita- just, as I, just as I imitate Him. Gayahin po natin si Pablo, gayahin po natin ang mga leader because they set themselves as a, as a model, hallelujah, in following, uh, imitating God because of the work of the Holy Spirit. We can imitate him. Hindi po imposible yun. When you die to the flesh. Doon ko tayo. If anyone would come after me, he should deny himself. Deny the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Maraming hindi ayaw niya. Napakahirap nila ang desisyonan. Lalo na yung mayayaman. Dahil wala. They, they, they are obligated to the flesh. Pero yung mga nagsugo na ng buhay, namatay na kay Kristo, Uh, they don't. They won't allow. They don't allow that unli- that living to control their lives. They're not obligated to the flesh anymore. Hallelujah! Po yung katutuhan na palang pagyam po natin si Lord. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Blessed be His name. Giving. Hallelujah! Okay, ispang apo palang pagyam natin ng malakas ang buhay ng Dios. Hallelujah! Sino dito na bless? Hallelujah. And sino dito ready na as we go on with our giving today? Hallelujah. Parang wala na nag-amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can we go to Luke chapter 6 verse 38? Luke chapter 6 verse 38. And sabi dito, Give and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured out into your lap for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the last night, nag-uusap kami nila, Carlo and ni David, with regards dun sa, sa sakyan. And, uh, sabi, sabi namin, na-realize namin, grabe pala magkasasakyan, no? Pagka uh, maintenance na, akala mo, uh, isa siyang liability. And, uh, it reflects Doon sa amin, oo nga, no? Kapag ka nandiyan dyan ang sasakyan, kailangan mong, kailangan mong i-maintain. Amen. And kanina, ang topic natin is about teamwork. And as a church, hallelujah. Sino dito na blessed doon sa tinuro sa atin as uh, teamwork? Amen. So, meaning to say, etong etong giving, etong bringing the tithes sa ginagawa natin, meron tayong ina-advance na gawain. Amen. Meron tayong ina-advance which is the kingdom of God. Amen. And makikita natin, meron tayong pinagpe-praying na church. And it goes back, bumalik sa akin, sino dito ready to occupy that church? Amen. Ready? And you know what? Yung church na na-occupy natin, yung church na pinagpe-pray natin, mas malaki dito. Mas malaki sa lugar na kinakatayuan natin ngayon. Mas malamig. Amen. And ibig, isa lang rin ang ibig sabihin nun, mas malaki ang babayaran nating kuryente. Mas malaki yung lilinisin natin na lugar. And it goes back, how are we ready to give? Amen. This is the season where God is stretching us in giving. Sabi kahapon, meron dapat tayong picture of faith and action of faith. Ano yung nakikita natin? If nakikita natin na magkakaroon tayo ng building, if nakikita natin magmamanifest ito, what is the action of our giving? What is the action of our faith today? Sabi dito, it is the same measure that will be used back to you. Amen? Again, tatanungin ko, sino dito ready mag-give? Sa akin nakatanda natin kanina, sabi doon, this is the time that we will take our places. Kung saan ka man ginagamit ni Lord kaya, kung saan ka man niya binibless ngayon, are you ready to take your place even in giving to the Lord? Amen? Ready ba tayo lahat magbigay? 
Okay, can we just uh, lift yung tithes natin yung offering natin? Father, Lord, we thank you, O God, for your word today, Panginoon. Lord, we thank you for you are the God who always reminds us, Panginoon. You are a great, good God. And Father, you are faithful that, Lord, you began a good work in us. He is able, Lord, to bring it in completion in our lives. And Father, Lord, I pray, O God, that, Lord, you will continue to fuel us with your word. You will continue, Lord, to strengthen us with your word. And let that faith, Lord, arise in us, O God. And even as we give today, Lord, let you be glorified with our means, Panginoon, with our fruits, Panginoon. Patuloy ka maluwalhati, Panginoon. Lord, you are looking for a cheerful giver, Panginoon. Lord, you continue to open the hearts, Panginoon, ng mga tao and, and, and let the pouring, Panginoon, of your blessing be upon them, Panginoon. Lord, I, I declare, Panginoon, even prosperity, Panginoon, sa tao, Panginoon, that you, even, Lord, sa may mga business, Lord, I speak, Lord, wisdom, knowledge, Panginoon, sa may mga trabaho, Lord, I speak strength, Lord, I speak courage, oh God, that, Lord, patuloy ka mag-glorify sa bawat isa, Panginoon, and sa, sa, sa pagbigay namin to, today, Panginoon, Lord, we continue to honor you, oh God, we continue to bless you, oh God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, everybody say, Amen. yung sa maliit yung sa church building kita ay tuloy-tuloy pa rin po yung pledges ninyo. Pwede pa rin po kayong uh, i-approach. Pwede po tayong mag-seed uli para sa church building. And then, yung atin pong sino po dito nakaubos na ng tickets nila? Taas ang kamay. Sino po nakaubos na ng tickets? Wow! wow! Ibibigay ko na po yung mga free tickets ninyo mamaya. So, ibigay lang po yung yung mga stop, no, kay Kila Natalia, and then bibigay po natin yung mga free tickets. So, ganito po, um, nagkaroon po kasi ng problema doon po sa net, mga networks natin. So, ang nangyari po kasi, um, yung pagdating po sa, bawa po sa isang, sa isang lugar, like sa Bacolod, tapos tatlo po yung contact na bibigyan. So, sa isang place lang po dinala yung ticket. So, ang nangyari, napadala na po matagal na, pero, nakuha ng ano, nung iba, nung dalawa, parang last week lang. So, medyo parang nagkakaroon tayo ng mga delays na, na unforeseen naman natin. So, with that, we concluded to extend the promo. Para lang mabigyan din sila ng time to sell the tickets. Tapos, ibabalik pa rin kasi nila yung mga raffle stubs that it will take them Uh, five to seven days para makabalik po dito yung mga raffle stubs. So, kapag po pinush natin yung ano, hindi, uh, baga mahihirapan tayo, unfair naman na hindi makarating yung mga raffle stubs nila, ba? Diba? So, ang laki din po nung contribution nila na part nila sa raffle na to. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng adjustment. Okay lang po ba yun sa inyo? Ayan. So, we will move the promo until, um, ano ba yun? August dapat, di ba? Magiging September 11. 
until September 11 po yung tickets. So yung mga unsold tickets, we are still giving you time to offer it with your friends, sa inyong mga kapuso, kapamilya, kaibigan. No, you are still giving, I think, mga one month pa yan again, para may time pa tayo to sell. Pero ang magiging raffle po natin ay magiging September ano nga date? 28? September 8. Last Sunday of the of uh, last yung Sunday. raffle. Pero yung promo is 11. Para yung time pa na mapadala yung mga raffle stuff. Last Sunday is 28. Tama ba ako? Basta last Sunday po ng gabi yung magiging raffle. So, ayan. So, lahat po ng mga may mga tickets pa may time pa po tayo na ibenta po yung mga tickets natin. Yehey! Ang daming nag-yehey. Nabigyan pa ng time to sell. And marami pa po tayong mga tickets ha. Please let us know kung meron pa pong gusto pang kumuha. Um, available pa po. Meron pa po tayong mga tickets dyan. And then, ayun. Yan na nga. Papunta na ako doon. So, ito na. I'm going there. Meron po kaming create na close group. So, nag-meeting po kami para mapadali yung updates. Hindi lang po dito sa church, but also Visayas and Mindanao. Meron po kaming ginawa na close group. Please, mag-join po kayo. Nandun po siya sa GC natin. So, please join the group. So, doon lang po, uh, doon po mangyayari, doon po ipopost yung mga updates. Then, doon din po ang live. No? Para po hindi tayo, ano, para organize, para lang yung lahat po ng mga bumili ng ticket, i-add po natin dun sa group na yon. Para naman po, kasi baka may, may mga questions sila, at least makita po nila na legit pa rin po yung raffle natin. Okay? And then, nasa ang GC yun? CAT? Ayun. Ipo-forward nyo po yun sa mga binentahan nyo po nung ticket. So, maka, makita po nila dun yung mga updates, dun po kami magsisend ng mga updates kung may mga changes po ba. Okay. And then, worship team and Hadasa required kayo umaten this afternoon 2pm for our equipping. So, asa na mga gwapo at magaganda dyan na ano? So, 2 o'clock, nagbaon ba kayo mga anak? Nakakain na lang po doon. Okay, sige. So, 2 o'clock, bumalik po dito. Very important po yung topic natin this afternoon. And then, uh, may evaluation yata ang music team after the service. Tuloy pa rin po yung mga clusters natin. No, may time lang po na nakalimutan lang po namin magpicture. <laughs> Kaya wala pong nasisend sa GC. Pasensya na po minsan nakakalimot. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin po yan, Mondays to Fridays. Then, Saturday prayer meeting, 6 o'clock. Please come. No, let's continue as a team, as a family. Sama-sama po tayo magpalakasan, magtulungan sa panalangin. Then, Sunday service, exactly 9 o'clock na po tayo nag start So, please come. Huwag niyo pong i-miss yung, ano, yung pagpupuri at pagsamba natin sa Panginoon. Doon pa lang po ay na-encounter na natin si Lord. So, please come on time. Ayan, may nakalimutan pa ba ako? Tiket. Pledges, wala naman na. So, kung wala na po, tumayo na po tayong lahat. Sino po sa closing? Ay, ako? Ako ba? Oh, sige, di ako. Ay, nagulat-nagulat ako. Dito may halatang hindi tumigay ng schedule. <laughs> tumayo po tayong lahat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Panginoon, marami pong salamat because we are part of a team. And in a team, there is no letter I. It means, hindi, na, hindi lang kami dapat nag-iisip sa aming mga pansarili lang. But Lord, we need to have that unconditional love with one another. Salamat Panginoon sa tiwala sa bawat isa na patuloy po kaming magkaisa na i-advance ang kingdom mo. Salamat sa Worship the King family, Panginoon. This is the place where we grow. This is the place, Lord, we experience your love, your care, Lord God, your compassion. Salamat Panginoon sa bawat membro ng Worship the King. Panginoon, I speak blessing that make it rich and you add no sorrow with it, Panginoon. And continue, Lord, to bless the works of their hands. The hedge of protection be upon your people. And Lord, we will continue to go back in this place excited, Lord, with enthusiasm to meet you again in this kind of presence. Oh God, maraming maraming salamat po. Tanggapin mo, Lord, ang aming mga pag 
ang aming mga pagpupuri, ang aming pasasalamat, ang aming pagsamba sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you all. See you all Saturdays and sa mga clusters services. God bless po. Ingat po kayong lahat. <laughs>